It's 9 a.m., baby, and we are ready to get to work. Somehow we woke up with the sun today, which almost never happens, um, but... Today, we are going to spend 24 hours straight on the bus build. <laughs> <laughs> we've seen videos where people do builds in like a day or a week, and we're like, we've been at this for a couple months now, uh, so we're gonna take one whole day and see how much we can get done realistically. It's cold! <laughs> so we are gonna comprise a list of all the things we're looking to get done today. Hopefully. And we're gonna see if we can knock them out. So let's make a list. We have organized the bus. Oh, this wire bullshit. <laughs> Get the bus under this trash. We can officially cross off our first box of the day, baby. Yes! Organize that bus, let's go. <laughs> All right, not that we were trying to go in order, but next up we're doing um, installing the isolator. So the isolator basically connects your starter battery back to your deep cycle batteries so the alternator in your bus or any vehicle can charge your deep cycle batteries. The thing is we're having problems getting this terminal free because this wire, when I turn it, just keeps, they're like corroded together here and I gotta get this wire off. While he's finishing the isolator, I'm going to go ahead and start on fixing the desk. The other day while we were driving, the desk came completely unhinged. So I think all I need to do is basically wood glue it back together and if it needs more than that, I will figure that out. Okay, like everything else in the bus, it's proving a little more complicated. Um, this cord, I had to rig it because of the way the terminal is on the battery. Clamped it in here and then it's gonna run to, and now I'm running the other cord right here from the isolator back to the deep cycle batteries which has to go under the bus and then up through this ground and shit like that yay go get it okay i think i got it i got it this has taken quite the second positive coming off the positive terminal to the isolator and then another cable running from the isolator all the way back underneath and coming out right here and then I'm, I'm just about to link this cable to the positive on the first battery, and we should be good to go. That should be it. Nice. I guess we turn the car on. How will you know? I don't know, <laughs> to be honest. All right, we got the car going. The alternator is ripping, and I've never seen the charge controller at 14 volts before, so safe to say. It's working! It's pumping, baby. All right, what do you think? <laughs> Look, girl, all right, we're getting somewhere. <laughs> Install isolator. Yay! Oh, Next test, let's go. All right, we're helping him here. We're gonna put shiplap on this side and plywood on this side. So we're just starting to take some measurements here and we are gonna box all this ugliness out and make it look pretty. Fixing the desk now. Oh, it's coming down for a second. Just for a sec. We are going over to my friend's house to get the countertop cut, as well as we just cut the ship lap out to go on the side of the desk, and that's going to finish up with the desk. We're going to get a staple gun or nail gun. So that it looks nice. So it looks pretty. And we're going to cut out a hole for the stove, so we're going to knock off three things on this checklist in the next, hopefully, like, hour. <laughs> it's been like three since we've knocked something off, so <laughs> we're, we're hyped to get something else done. Say hi to the vlog, Haley. Yo, say hi to the vlog. <laughs> this is the homie Ethan. He's so much more handsy than me. Handsy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. So we are at Ethan and Haley's house right now. Um, Ethan has given me the proper tools. We're gonna get ribbon on getting this piece of shiplap on the side of the desk now. <laughs> it looks. 
like so much better. Um, uh, yeah, Ethan helped us put our vision together because he has the tools and the knowledge to know what we wanted. <laughs> So, shout out Ethan. Looks so good. Look at that. Flawless on both so sides. So good. Mm. That is foul. Uh. Flavor. <laughs> Ew. I don't We're taking it. full advantage of this shop and yeah, getting the gonna... countertop coat. We're cutting the countertop baby to size. We're going to slap her on in the bus and the kitchen. We'll have the counter. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're getting the counter going. We have the camera top cut to size here. It looks a freaking gorgeous. But this was at Texas Roadhouse for a while and this was their dough table. So there's just a layer of just like sticky gunk on top that we're trying to get off right now uh, with different tools like a wire brush and Ethan's got a planer going right now. So we're trying to get rid of that. That's all just like nasty. That is all dough and just <laughs> crusties off the top. That's a, that's a loaf of bread. All <laughs> one bread. <laughs> All right, so we have sanded and planed down the countertop, and it looks incredibly better. There's almost no cut marks at all. Um, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it, it actually just looks like a fresh new countertop. It looks so good. So much better. Um, and we even took a, I don't know, Ethan's doing some fancy shit with the corners, and it's making it look pristine here. Um, but we're gonna cut out the stove top right now, which I'm very excited for, and then we'll bring it all into the bus and get it together. Woo! Damn, she's hurty right in there. Ah, we love it. I probably getting it. Oh, it looks so good. Woo! Clean, that baby. looks so good. Let's go! First, countertop! Woo! Mm -mm -mm. And stovetop install. Let's go. And then we fixed the desk and made it pretty. Okay, the list is looking less intimidating now. Hey. <laughs> Big confession for you guys. We went and sat down in the other night inside and we fell asleep. We, and we failed the challenge. <laughs> but we're still continuing trying to get everything done. Now we are working on the, the uppers. The upper cabinet install. So we're trying to make do with the cabinets that we bought at Construction Junction the other week. But if not, we're gonna have to build them ourselves. They're gonna work. I, I have I have doubts. I have no doubts. We'll see what happens. Ooh. Ah, oh yeah. This might be my proudest moment of my life. These cabinets were both five dollars each. That's it from Construction Junction, and we turned them into one beautiful, long, fitted, curved, perfect for a schoolie, underlit cabinets. And all they have to do is be installed now. So we cut the curve here so that it fits the roof of the bus because buses are so annoying. <laughs> and on the bottom. We have a light so that you can see what you're doing under there. And over here, it is all wired up, ready to be installed. They look so good. Let's bring them in. Wow, look at them go. They're kind of heavy. They are kind of heavy. You should have went in the other way. Oh, jeez. All right, obviously I'm not gonna be able to hold it up here for long, but this is how it's mainly gonna look. Wow. Oh my god, it looks so good. Look at that curve. Ah! I love it. So it just needs to be connected up here and it'll be ready to go. <laughs> so it's safe to say we did not make it through the 24 hour challenge. Not even close. Challenge failed, but we did get some really great work done. A and lot of good stuff. This challenge really pushed us to get that great work done tonight, so we're very grateful for it. I say we do it again. Please like and subscribe because we worked really hard on all this stuff and we're gonna continue to work really hard until the bus is done and then we can make super cool videos for you guys and not just boring bus builds all the time. <laughs> they're not that boring. <laughs> they're a little boring. <laughs> <laughs> New content coming soon though. Thanks so much, bye. bye.